Hello and welcome back everyone. I hope you're doing good. So this week I was running out of round canvases and I wished to paint on them. So I decided to find out a sustainable base option that I could paint on and find it easily at home. So come along and paint with me as today we are going to be using these ceramic plates or you can also use plastic or reusable plates and enjoy making these flowers on them. And if in case you don't wish to use the plates, you can always use cardboard bases for enjoying this painting. And if in case you wish to paint on a cardboard, then you can first apply a layer of gesso to get a clear white base and then go ahead and enjoy coloring. And for painting on the ceramic plate, I didn't apply any gesso and directly painting using acrylic colors. All we need to remember here is not to add water to the color mix, use the colors directly to avoid peeling of the colors later. So let's enjoy coloring and paint the first plate. Here I mixed aqua blue color and white together and by using a large flat brush I applied it all over the plate. And once the plate is dried completely let's paint roses on the top. I have kept all my colors ready here and now by using a flat brush number 4 I picked up magenta color to paint the center area of the rose which will be the darkest shade as compared to the rest part of the flower. So randomly create the center part by using the tip of the flat brush like this. And then by using the same brush, pick up white acrylic color and add these fine curved lines on the center area to define the petal area on the center of the flower. And here do not mix the colors completely, just leave few parts of each color to be visible for more natural look. So just randomly apply colors, don't worry about the results, this painting is fun to make and you'll be getting great results by applying the simple loose strokes of colors by mixing few colors together. And while we move outwards, we'll always add more white color to the color mix so that we get this light shade of petals here and by using this simple stroke, we'll be able to paint the roses very easily. And now follow the same steps to create the remaining flowers as well. And now to add leaves, here I'm using sap green color, you can also use dark green color and then I'll be using an angular brush here, you can also use any round brush for this. Simply use the corner of the brush and create leaves like this, use the simple technique to create remaining leaves as well.
and once the base flower is dried completely we'll go ahead and again add white petals on the top to make it appear more 3D. And now we'll let it dry completely and I'll show you the complete look at the end. Meanwhile let's get ready with the next plate. And here I'm going to be using a small plate and I've mixed some pink, yellow and white in the ratio 5 is to 1 is to 3 and mix them all together. Do not use water here again, just use the color directly. And once the color mix is ready, let's paint the base of our plate by using a flat brush. And once the base is dried completely, let's paint the flower on the top. Here we're going to be using violet and shades of purple color. So by using a dry round brush number 10, I picked a brilliant purple, which is basically purple color mixed with some white acrylic color. And I'll mix some white to it. And in this plate, I'm sharing more easy flower with you in case you find painting peonies a little difficult. So you you can try these ones these are very easy to make so just add these simple petals and create flowers like this and then go ahead and add more roses as we did in the previous plate Once the base dries, then add these white petals on the top to make it appear more 3D and natural. And then we'll let it dry completely and see its final look at the end. And now let's enjoy making the last painting which was so easy and fun to make.
and now our plates are ready and to protect them and avoid any peeling of colors we need to apply varnish when the painting dries completely you can always apply it on the top so i'm applying a liquid varnish here you can always use a spray varnish so this step will keep our painting safe and nothing would happen to this even if water spills on the top we can always use a soft satin fabric to wipe off the dust later. And now our varnish is dried completely and we can notice the shine and finish that it has given to our plates. And to hang these on the wall, you can always attach these hooks on the back by using a glue gun or any hard glue that you have. Or we can always fix them by using a double sided tape. So while our plates are drying, let me share with you these mini paintings that I made. So you can always paint this on canvas or even use any drawing paper to enjoy colouring them. And now it's ready and let's hang them on the wall and see the final look. And these paintings are also available for sale on my art store. You can check out the link in the description box below. And if you upcycle any product at your home and recreate any of my paintings, then do share your recreations with me on my Instagram. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.